Hey Leo, happy birthday. It's Leo month. Um, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful time doing it only as Leos can do. So I'm going to give you a nice little birthday message for those who are interested. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, can I tell you, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Like, you don't know. You already know. You know, you know. You know, you know, you know. You know how beautiful you are. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you in your birthday month. I had to pull out the goddesses for you guys to give you that special Leo birthday message. Let's see what else they have for you besides the goddesses. Let's grab some angels. See what the angels have for you too. You know, Leo is like a special kind of sign. Leo people. What's life without a Leo? Boring. Okay, so let's see what spirit has for you guys. Let's check with this angel first. Mm, angel warriors. Angels oversee your life and protect you. So, the funny thing about the Leos that I have known, even when you get yourself into some crazy trouble, you always seem to land on your feet. It's almost like a cat landing on its feet, the way a Leo will land on its feet. No matter what happens, no matter what knocks you down, you don't got to worry. You have your angel warriors with you. Nobody. It's almost like I hear that no weapon formed against me shall prosper because I'm here to do what I got to do. It's my birthday, so I'm about to go kick out, kick in the door. Uh, or Akira blooming. So this Leo says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Definitely. That's the only thing I think that sometimes can get into your way is if things aren't happening fast enough, it then feels like you can throw a pity party. So it's like no more pity parties. It's your birthday. Literally chart out what you want to see for the rest of your year. This is your new year. Forget 2020 and all its shenanigans of Jumanji map out what the rest of your year is going to look like for you and let the angels help you with it let's see what else the goddesses have transformation definitely 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 in the middle of a transformation and you may not be feeling like yourself you might be feeling down you may not be feeling happy or shiny but it's just because of the situation that we're in it's temporary it gives you a chance to reflect on who you are what you want to be um and it's almost like the blessings are going to come. It's just having patience, which is one thing that, you know, you may not necessarily be interested in. Patience. Okay. Now we have the angels saying, surrender your battles. The angels are asking you to hold your peace and surrender the battle to them. So that's like I was saying before. Nobody wants to hear, oh, be patient um, in time. However, this is the time where it's best during your transformation that you do have patience and let things happen the way that they need to happen because you're going to land on your feet as usual you just gotta have patience okay let's see what else they have for you past life this situation involves past life memories now I feel like that star-crossed lover feeling where you may be longing for somebody that you that you don't have in your life right now but I feel like it may just be like sometimes just because you're soulmates twin flames in love it doesn't mean that you're gonna be together in this life but it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the memories you can't enjoy what you had and still be happy it's a whole different story when you dip into longing and when you start longing for stuff that was, that's a whole nother element. And you don't want to start giving yourself stress illnesses, um, tension in your neck, shoulders, head, phantom weird pains, all that kind of stuff. Because you're longing for something that was, that isn't going to be. 
So one part of it is letting go, um, enjoying the memory, and know that it's a memory. Now, it's hard when you're a Leo because you're so powerful and there's an element of magic to you that part of you was like, oh, well, I could just do some magic and fix it to the way that I want it to be. But sometimes it's not always appropriate to use that magic, especially when it has to do with somebody and their own free will and where they are in their life. Sometimes you just got to let it go. But you also got to know that there is more available to you. You have abundance available. Remember, they said you're blooming. Blooming. Okay, let's see what else. Faith in values. Definitely. It says, your values are guiding principles. Use them to choose the way you live your life. Like I said, you may be having that feeling like, oh, I'm going to just go do my magic and I'm going to just make it happen the way I want it to happen. That's not necessarily an appropriate thing to do right now while you're in the middle of this transformation. It feels like something even better can be coming for you if you let this go. Let this be what it's going to be so that you can have what you need. Remember, they're saying to have faith. And it's easy to say, oh, have faith. But if you can't get the faith, at least get the hope. So you're like, oh, I hope I get somebody better than the love of my life. I hope I can love again harder and greater and and even more beautifully than I did with my last relationship. I'm like, uh-oh, don't bump the table, yo. Don't bump the table. Okay, we're going to get one more for Leo. Birthday season. Listen to some music. Listen to George Michael. Gotta have faith, faith, faith. Let's see what else we have. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So you're literally in the middle of a transformation. So take it in stride. Something new is coming to you. You gotta have faith. You gotta leave the past alone. You got to step forward. Create. Use your imagination. Use your imagination and visualize what you want to see happen in your life. Don't be lazy with your energy. You might be hard working physically, but you need to work just as hard in your imagination as you do physically so that you can actually bring through these manifestations. Okay, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Keeping it short and sweet. Have a happy birthday season. Happy New Year for you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.